So in this problem, what we have is this boy, he's going to be exerting a force of 50 newtons, and he's going to be pulling his sister, right, this direction, and it's going to be at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal, and we know he's going to pull her a distance of 30 meters. And what we're trying to do is find the work done by this boy. So we're going to be solving for work, and the formula for work is force times distance times the cosine of theta. So this is the form we're going to use to solve. So F is the force, and so what is the force he's going to be exerting? We know the force in the cable that he's pulling is 50 newtons. So the force is going to be 50 newtons. D is the distance that he's going to pull her. So in this case, we know he's going to pull a distance of 30 meters. So D in this case is just 30. And then cosine of theta. So what is theta in this case? So you need to know that theta in this formula represents the direction or the angle between the direction the person is traveling and the force. So keep in mind they're going to travel straight along this horizontal this way, right? That's the direction they're going, but the force is going to be 30 degrees away from it. So the force travels this way, they travel this way. And the angle between the two is 30 degrees, which that's theta. So theta is the angle between the direction they go and the force. So the angle between those is 30 degrees. So theta in this case is just 30. And so now we just have our formula and all we have to do is just go ahead and plug in. So the work is going to be equal to 50, 50 times 30 times the cosine of 30. And make sure when you do this, you're in degrees. So when you do this, you're going to get 1299.038. So you can just round however you want. Keep in mind, we measure work in joules. So this is joules. I'm just going to round to 1300. So 1300 joules, just make sure you round how your teacher wants you to. But the work uh, or the answer to this problem is going to be 1300 joules. So hopefully you found this useful.